Hello and welcome again to Lab Matters, a webcast from Kaspersky Lab. I have a special guest with me here today, Mr. Ram Horkanaidu. He is an education manager at Kaspersky Lab. And I brought Ram here to talk about the education initiative in, in the company. There's a special education department set up to promote uh, you know, uh, training and education around the world. Just talk a little bit about the objectives of the department, what, what it was set up for and what's the overall objective. Okay, we're part of the Global Education Initiative by Kaspersky and we're now quite a large company and we feel it as a part of our social responsibility that we need to raise awareness of IT security at universities and schools. So that's the main focus. So we're working a lot with universities in Europe, Asia and now hopefully in America as well. Mm -hmm. Is there a special uh, level of education? I mean, what, what is, are you dealing undergraduate, postgraduate? What, 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 what level are you dealing with with these universities? At the moment, our flagship program is called the IT Security for the Next Generation, and it's aimed at master's students. Master's students. But we still have um, undergraduates, so they're good enough, and we not excluding PhD students because we want as many people to submit to this competition as possible. Right. Uh, okay, so I was going to segue into my next question. There's a competition. It is a competition, and what they have to do is they need to write a paper and submit it to us. So you're working with specific schools and only students in that specific school, or is it is it who is it open to? Right. What we're trying to do at the moment is uh, extend it to as many universities as possible. And if there's universities out there want to get in contact with us, and they have a specific IT security program, or they want to know more about IT security, right. then if their students write, submit papers to us and... Right, so there's a the call for process paper uh, for that specific school that you're partnering with. So you're partnering with specific schools and opening it to students within their master's program. Not correct? just specific schools, it could be any. Okay, actually. so it could be so any yeah. student in that region. That's right, yeah. And the event right now is regional. It's regional. It's, we, we, um, if you're it's a used conference, to the, right? I mean, it's a, it's a conference, exactly. But what we will want them to do is there's regional cups. So we have the European Cup, we have the Russian Cup, we have the Asia and EMEA, EMEA think, yeah. Cup. And this year we will have the American Cup as well. So Can you say American Cup in the US? In the okay. US, indeed, yeah. Do you have a school in mind in the US or is this not all finalized yet? Right, um, we've had a, a great encouragement from the NYU, New York okay. Technical University, and they're helping us uh, set up this cup in the US, and we're really grateful to them for their help on that. Right, so it happens in Asia, Russia, uh, and Europe. And uh, what talk a little bit about last year's, last year's cups and events. You went, where did you go? How many students participated? What kind of papers did you have? Just talk a little bit about the last year's events. Indeed. Um, last year we had a great success. It was our second year and we had maybe 250 submissions papers um, in Europe, Asia and also in Russia. And what we had, we had three different conferences in those different regions ah. and the top three, four of each region was invited to the International Cup These or the World Cup. These are top three speakers, basically. So the exactly, papers are yeah. submitted like normal. You pick the best or some of the best papers and then they, they present it to the conference yes. and then there's a judging panel that picks the top. Exactly, yeah. And the top three get chosen from the presentation as well as the paper, innovation value, uh, social value, right. and, and then and also the presentation value and then they will get chosen and then we will take them to the International Cup, World Cup. This year it was in Munich and we had a great time there and we had the top three winners and actually Mark and Vivian uh, uh, as part of their prize were came to our conference, the Kaspersky uh, uh, Analyst Summit right. in Malaga with us. So it, they give get cash prizes but also they get things that cash can't it's buy. A big incentive to, to, to Exactly, yeah. So they can mix with all the uh, experts both at Kaspersky and also security researchers uh, worldwide as well. What's in it for Kaspersky? Why, why are you doing this? Are you, I know you mentioned social responsibility, but there's a, is there a larger purpose? To Indeed, of course. Now, these master's students, they are learning about IT security. We want to raise awareness. But later on, when they are um, going into banks, government, other organisation, when they think about implementing systems, not only will they have IT security in mind, but of course we want right, them to do. think about Kaspersky. So in the wider scheme of things, right. it's like a branding exercise. There's a branding component there, obviously. Exactly, yes. Any other plans for expansion beyond just the conferences? And do you have any sort of, uh, outside of the regional specific conferences on this World Cup, 
Uh, do you have like any other smaller programs you work with individual universities around the world, maybe security days or any of that stuff? Indeed, I was just going to mention that. We, we have like IT security days that we want to do. So we don't just do come and do a talk, we will come and do so different initiatives. At the moment, we universities, but what we want to do is um, do things at schools level. So we involved with EU um, safety days, we're talking to UNESCO about doing partnership with them. So it's kind of wider program. And also, of course, we want to attract the best minds to Kaspersky. So we have an internship program. Right. That they so there's a, there's a recruitment component to it as well. Indeed. Well, I wouldn't say recruitment as such, but um, already um, we're creating a, quite a buzz in the students um, uh, interested in IT security. And of course, they want to work with uh, experts uh, here. And we have great young experts at Kaspersky already and it's attracting more from different universities. Fantastic stuff. When is the next conference and where? Right, okay. The, the next round for, 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 for the next year is going to so start... this is going to be the first one for 2011 because you just had your World Cup. We've tomorrow. just had the World Cup in, in March and the, the next one um, it, um, will be at NYU. In oh, New so York the one State in the US is the next it, one. And indeed, that, I, in, I understand that coincides with Cybersecurity Awareness Week in the US. Indeed, it's part of their cybersecurity challenge. So they, they've been doing this for 10 years. So it's going to be great for us because um, they already have the experience, they have the infrastructure already, and um, they will be able to attract the students there. So um, it's already made for us. Sounds so like it's, a, it's going like to be a great. Group. Thank you very much, Ram. Appreciate it. Thank you it. very much. And thank you for watching another edition of Lab Matters, a webcast from Kaspersky Lab. You can check out some other webcasts at youtube.com slash Kaspersky. Mm -hmm.